Hello and welcome to another episode of The Workshop with me, your host, Marco Santos, also known as Mechanic Rickman. With me is Bravery Network Online. In the previous episode, I think I've come to realize that I don't like the way the team was working out because pop-ups wasn't very wasn't being used very often. Whenever I got to use it, I lost so much tempo that the opponent would just use that tempo and then run over my team with it. Especially because a lot of my team members were non-threatening, so they weren't forced to switch any thing ever and if they did swap well i would counter swap and the counter swap wouldn't really do much anyway so i've changed a lot of the team members to be more aggressive deal more damage uh, so hopefully that works out i mean overall we'll see so i'll see you when the queue is over all right we're in a game against casca Liz Captain, I know this makes me sad every time you use a trick. Who would be their first tag in? Liz, you, or you? Pema's also a decent candidate for that. There's a decent amount of emotional attackers on their team. I think my Pema can come in. Tazu. Meet my Pema. Here's the thing, I could just Haymaker. Okay, that's mm, not great. Flicker? I think flicker is important. Okay, I think I'm gonna die now. Uh, that decoy was so good. Wow, it doesn't even kill. Dang. We're still gonna do bypass claws anyway. Okay, that's all your uses of decoy. Nope, never mind. You have way more uses of decoy. No, I'm just gonna keep shooting bypass clauses. Wow, my Pema just got owned, dude. That's rough. One layer of pop-ups is not too concerning for me. I expect the Liz to come in now. Maledictor? Really? Okay. I still expect Liz to come in now. Pema. Oh, tank Pema. Cool. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do pop ups. Anyway, here's Firewall. We're just gonna use this opportunity to earn some batteries, I think. Now let's set up our last layer of pop-ups. And this is the life we want to live, friend. Let's go. Bypass. Now we just fully expect the Liz swap to come. And I'm just gonna keep shooting bypass. 
Like, my pop-ups are way better than your pop-ups, so... It's okay that we traded this way. Yeah, no, we're just gonna stay in against you. Like... It's... That's just gonna be the case. Let's see if we can recover from this. I want to generate some batteries for myself as well, so... Yeah, because I... Their team is built to... To abuse me. Yeah, they're losing way more life in this exchange. Like, at some point, they're gonna die. Faster than I die. Resolute Pema does not really do anything, huh? Except pivot. That's really interesting. Okay, so here's the game plan. We put in Eric next, we explode on them. That's really good. Because the biggest way we lose this is if Liz had come in there at that exact time and bodied us. Okay. Um. Okay, that's good. Why is that good? Because now they don't have the ability to parry. This is what I've been waiting for. We're putting in Sayla now. Sayla's gonna sweep the rest of the team. Because now Liz can't come in. Because if Liz comes in, Liz dies. There's Sayla tags in, inevitably. I need the haymaker. Oh. Okay. So now they only have their Liz. They forfeited. <laughs> it worked. I. Why is it that I like teams that just go in and kill people more than teams that don't? I don't know. It just ends up working way more often for me. I guess it just fits my playstyle more. All right, that was a cool change. That was a cool change. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for this theme for my video series, please put them in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.